When a prospect inquires about your business and they ask, how much? What's your response? We're gonna get into that and more in today's video. What's going on you guys? I'm Jeff Berlingan, professional mentor and sales specialist for Two Brain Business. And you're watching this video on the Two Brain Business YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe if you're looking for more content to help you move closer to personal wealth. You can also smash the like and ring that notification bell so that you can see when we drop more content. All right, so again, when a prospect inquires about your business, what do you do? When they ask, how much? Where are you located? What are your class hours? What's in it for me? What programs do you offer? How is that gonna benefit me? How are you responding to that? I've got a hot tip for you that I've used in sales for the past 15 years that is extremely effective and falls into the assertive salesperson category, which is where we wanna be. Not aggressive, not pushy, not over the top, but not passive, not just laying all the cards out and saying, here you go, let's see what happens, right? We're assertive because being assertive is the way to be the most helpful when it comes to a person making a buying decision. Somebody has to do it. Somebody has to nudge them along the track to get to the end. And that's what we aim to do. So here's the hot tip. When somebody asks you a question, whether it be email, text, DM, phone call, walk in, I don't want you to respond with the first gut reaction. How much? Uh, 99 to $150. Please don't do that. Don't give away your prices because here's what happens. When you give those prices away, what you're feeling is, I'm not being pushy because if I hold it back, they'll be mad at me and they'll be like, you have to give me those prices. But here's the problem. If you give the prices away on the other end of the spectrum, the passive end of the spectrum, you're actually making yourself a commodity. You are now placing yourself into a race that is simply based on price. What's the problem there? There is no context of the value that you offer. You have now done yourself a disservice by not allowing yourself an opportunity with this prospect to present what you have to offer and the value therein. And you've done a disservice to them because they don't get to see that value. Now they're stuck in this rut where they have to go make a decision and they're simply basing it off of price. They're gonna end up with the wrong program for them that will not help them as well as you could help them, as well as your service could help them. So it's a lose-lose. So giving that price away is that gut reaction. You wanna help them, you wanna put it out there. I hear this pretty often. Uh, if they can't afford me, then I don't wanna to talk to them. And that's ridiculous. You are creating a barrier for no reason other than to prevent yourself from doing the work that you signed up to do because you started a business. I hate to tell you this, that's your job. That's what you're supposed to do. And if not you, a salesperson's supposed to do that. So somebody should be in a position to take care of this person. And regardless of that, again, you're doing a disservice to this person by ignoring them and blockading them with your price. That's not fair. Please don't do that. Instead, here's how the assertive salesperson handles it. When somebody says, how much to me? What's relevant in that question is, what the heck do you actually want though? Like, sure, I can give you a price, but I have no idea who you are, what you want, and why you want it. Therefore, I have not done my job. I need to discover this information before I can give you the price. That would otherwise be unfair to me and unfair to you. Now, I'm not saying that on the phone, obviously. Instead, we're gonna try this technique. We're simply going to acknowledge them and then ask our own question, not answer the question that they've asked. So, hey, how much is your gym? Hey, I appreciate your interest in the gym and I'm happy to talk to you about it more. Here's what would help me out a lot in terms of deciding on the right program for you. What goals do you have? Or what were you hoping we could help you with? And then they're gonna go into that because I've said it before, I'll say it again, the most beautiful sound in any language is a person's own name. And who do we love to talk about the most? ourselves. So give a person a platform and they'll step up on it and start chirping at you. And they'll tell you everything you need to know. They're an open book now. This works 99.9% .9 of the time. In 15 years, I've probably experienced three times where a person has said, huh, just tell me the price, dude. I don't care about talking about this. Three times, 15 years, I've been selling the whole time. So that is a very minuscule amount, maybe a 0.0005% amount. 
Not gonna happen that often. Just rely on this method working, trust the process, it'll work, right? So a person asks you, how much? Hey, I appreciate your interest in the gym. I'm wondering, just so I can better determine a program for you, what were you hoping we could do for you? And then go from there, roll with it, ask more questions. They say, well, I'm just looking to get back into a gym. Oh great, what are you looking for in a gym? I don't know, maybe just like group classes? Cool, how big a group are you looking for? Six to 12 people? And why group? I mean, I'm just curious. Well, I think it's more fun to work out with others. Awesome, what kind of workouts do you enjoy? Uh, high intensity is what I've done in the past. I've done things like P90X, Insanity. Okay, great. Yeah, definitely, that's something that we offer here. Now, let me ask you this. Why do the high intensity work? What does that do for you? Oh, it gives me energy. I feel good after classes. Oh, that's awesome. I love to hear that. What were your goals though? Oh, I just want to stay in shape. At this point, I got to lose maybe a couple more pounds and I'll be feeling really good. Okay, cool. A couple pounds. Like how much? Like three, five? What are you talking about? Five pounds. Okay, awesome. Well, that's a great goal to have. See, we've been talking for maybe 90 seconds. We're approaching two minutes and I already have a plethora of information that is going to help me determine the right path for this person. And they, on the other hand, are experiencing my enthusiasm and genuine interest in them and their goals. This is something they do not experience elsewhere. And if they do, it's very rarely that they encounter this, especially, unfortunately, when it comes to gyms. So you're already standing out. You're already on top. You're moving up that podium. We're getting closer to first place, and that's the goal. We gotta find that win-win. At the end of this part of the conversation, we're going to book the appointment. We need to book our intro or our sales process at this point. So, rather than letting things get back to, okay, cool, but like how much? Because we still have not presented our value. Again, still not fair to give out the price to either party. So now what we need to do is we need to book the appointment. Here's how I like to do it. You get towards the end of that, you've gathered information, you feel pretty good about who you're talking to. Both of you seem to be getting along decently well. This should take two to five minutes at most, at most. Don't do a full intro on the phone, please. I understand the temptation. They're there, you're there, 100% show, should go great. However, they are not in a mental position to make a buying decision. They're merely inquiring. Now you might make this sale, but you are having a severe impact on your closing percentage by doing that. It's always better to just book the appointment and have them come in fully prepared to make a buying decision. So instead, we move towards booking the appointment. Here's how I like to do it. Mrs. Jones, thank you so much for this information. I can't wait to sit down with you and talk more about this. So let's do this. I have time tomorrow from 1 to 3 p.m. What time in that gap works for you? Now she may say, none of those times. You say, hey, totally fine. This will help me out more. What works better for you, mornings or evenings? Evenings, great. I have tomorrow, maybe a little bit later than that one to three slot, I could do like a five or a six. Which one of those works better? Five, great. I'm gonna put you down for that right now. Big hint, book the appointment right now while they're on the phone and then ask them if they received the confirmation email. If you use something like Acuity or Schedule Once, they should get that confirmation email right away or within a few minutes at the worst. So book the appointment, you should get it instantly. Then you say, all right, cool, did you get that confirmation email? And they'll say yes or no. If no, say, hey, should be there in a couple minutes, just let me know if you don't see it. If they say yes, you say, great, we are good to move forward on the sales process. So beyond the whole pricing inquiry, the other inquiries you might get are about your programs, your class times. I want you to treat them all the same exact way. You're simply going to acknowledge, hey, thank you so much for your interest in our programs or for your interest in our schedule and our service in our gym, et cetera. Whatever's appropriate, use the appropriate words. And then from there, hey, what were you hoping we could do for you? and dive into it. It's the same every time. All we're saying at this point is don't just give everything away because you're failing to provide the value that you offer. And it's going to be impossible for somebody to make a fair buying decision at that point. Remember, we wanna win-win. Yes, absolutely, we're here to help and we want the prospect to win. But in order for you to be a successful business person and move closer to personal wealth, you also have to win. So be fair to both parties.
All right, you guys, hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, be sure to subscribe to the channel, smash a like on this video, and ring that notification bell so you can see when we drop more content. Again, I'm Jeff Burlingame, professional mentor and sales specialist for Two Brain Business, and we'll see you on the next video.